In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, as cited by Scenario 247 updates, Ekpa claimed that Gowan is reportedly fleeing Nigeria in light of his announcement regarding the upcoming declaration of Biafra independence, slated for December. In his statement, Ekpa provocatively referred to Gowan as a war criminal, questioning the motivations behind his alleged relocation to London. The war criminal Gowan is relocating to London. Why is he running? They couldn't stop Simon Ekpa and Biafra December declaration. The 50 million votes from Biafra self-referendum have sent a shocking wave. He wrote, this bold declaration not only amplifies Ekpa's stance on the Biafran independence movement but also challenges the legacy of Gowan, who led Nigeria during the civil war that claimed millions of lives. The tension surrounding Biafran independence has deep historical roots, stemming from the struggle for self-determination that began in the late 1960s. The Biafran War, which lasted from 1967 to 1970, was a significant and traumatic period in Nigerian history, resulting in widespread suffering and loss. Ekpa's comments reflect the ongoing frustration among many in the southeastern region of Nigeria who feel marginalized and oppressed by the central government. As the call for independence gains momentum, Ekpa's social media presence has become a focal point for supporters of the Biafran cause. His assertion of the 50 million votes from the self-referendum suggests a substantial backing for the movement, despite the Nigerian government's consistent opposition to any attempts at secession. One basic area we're looking at is this issue of the Southeast. Simon Ekpa. So this individual has become a menace to this country. Simon Ekpa has become a menace to this country. So the country must act on it diplomatically. Finland is having a free way encouraging him to do what he's doing. By his utterances and his actions, he's affecting what is happening in Nigeria. We should never allow that, sir. The manpower in the police today is grossly inadequate. The United Nations ratio of 1 to 400 is not attainable in Nigeria as of today because the ratio in Nigeria is 1 to 1,000. Our strategy as an army is the deployment of forces in each of the six geopolitical zones to conduct operations to combat the security threats. Estimative in terms We will burn Nigeria down. Yeah. 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 That is what requires to protect our people, protect our land, we will burn them down. Yeah. 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 I want you to understand that if you want peace, you prepare for war. What I've seen for the past two years is not in the right of my heart. It's not anywhere in the media our people are being butchered, get chopped off by the people who are supposed to be protecting those people. The people they call governors in the southeast part of Biafra has become the truth.